It's been one of the major criticisms of Ontario's online cannabis store that it often takes too long for your order to actually show up. But it appears that is about to change. Richard Southern joins us now. Good to see you in the flesh. To I'm be so together glad you're at the back desk. and healthy, by oh, the way. Oh, thank you, you know, so much. So awesome. Glad to be so back. Awesome. So let's talk pot. The province yep. uh, gotten lots of complaints about the speed of delivery, and now they're trying to speed up that process. Yeah, this is interesting. So, you know, right now, the only way to legally buy the drug in Ontario is on that online store, OCS.ca. But your package can take three days or more to arrive. So now the Ontario... Cannabis Retail Corporation, they say they're looking to find a courier, Janela, that will make same-day pot deliveries. So the goal is to have it up and running by March. Uh, the OCS wouldn't tell me when I asked how much it would cost. Right now, it's a $5 flat rate for delivery. One would imagine it would be significantly more if it's same-day. Uh, this could be a big get, though, because, you know, in April, when the retail stores open, it's only going to be five in Toronto, so there's probably going to be big lines. You'd think people would take advantage of that same day delivery. So interesting move by no the No one OCS. wants to wait for their week. It's one of those <laughs> things where you want beer. You don't want it three days from <laughs> yes, now, right? right? You, you want it, you want it now. Yeah. So you mentioned beer, actually, and a question is being raised is do people uh, mix beer, uh, mix weed, rather, with their other forms of entertainment? Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday coming up, and one poll wants to find out whether Canadians mix pot with football. Okay. Thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, it uh, looks like the answer is yes, Janella. Uh, Super Sunday just uh, a week away. And uh, this new poll uh, finds that a significant number of people will be having a toke uh, with their uh, Super Bowl 61.6% plan to drink alcohol while watching the Super Bowl. We know that. But 16.4% will use cannabis during the big game. 19.8% of men will watch the Super Bowl stoned. 12% uh, of women plan to do that. Uh, Looking at the provinces, Nova Scotia, Janela, 45% uh, will enjoy a toke with the uh, big game. 27% uh, in British Columbia here in Ontario, about 14%. Zero in Manitoba. They're being real good. You know, I'm just going to uh, order up some chicken wings, I think, myself. <laughs> the question is, that, uh, how does that pot uh, interact with the halftime game? <laughs> the the, the halftime show, rather. <laughs> yeah, you might, be, uh, you might be enjoying the halftime show more, maybe eating more doesn't chicken that, wings. It doesn't doing matter that. if the show is good or not, but uh, <laughs> they'll be enjoying it. Okay, let's switch gears. Uh, car it's Maroon 5, by the way. You yeah. might need some extra pot if it's, it's Maroon yeah, exactly. 5. Anyways, <laughs> depending on, on who you ask. Yeah. Um, one car manufacturer is going back to the future. Tell us about that. DeLorean. You know the DeLorean? Uh, so, you know, there was an inventor back in 1982. He came out with this car, stainless steel chassis. Uh, it uh, had those doors that opened upwards. They only made about 9,000. Probably would have been a, a footnote in history, Janela, if not for Back to the Future. It played a key role in that movie. Uh, so, for 30 years, collectors have tried to keep a few of them up and running. Now, a Texas-based entrepreneur is going to ramp up production. He's going to make new DeLoreans. He's acquired the inventory, the parts, the schematics. The new DeLoreans will feature Modern three to four hundred horsepower engines. They won't be cheap. A hundred thousand dollars US is where they will start, Janella. Well, I think I'm gonna get myself one. <laughs> oh, no. look at you. Yeah, no, You'll they take don't two. pay me that You'll much. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so some things are priceless, but one uh, survey is trying to put a price on motherhood. Yeah, so there was salary.com, that big site. They looked at what should a stay at home mother make, and they said, should be $162,500 a year. The researchers found that moms who stay at home, they take on a bunch of hybrid roles, including uh, education executive, we know that, housekeeper, uh, interior designer, tax accountant, uh, nurse, all those jobs that moms do, Janella, and they say it's worth a six-figure salary. I couldn't agree more. By the way, I got a new mom in my family. Oh, speaking of moms. My sister, Mora, just gave birth to Hannah. And there's more and oh, Hannah. Oh, congratulations. So I'm an uncle for the first time, Janella. So there's more and I want to show uh, Matt, uh, the, the great dad. There's Matt and little Hannah. Isn't she cute? Oh, so precious. So you, you know they say the, the weird, strange uncle? <laughs> I, I have the weird, strange part down just kind of still working <laughs> on the uncle business. You're working on it. You're working on it. All right. Congratulations to new mom and dad and to the new uncle. And thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Janella.